Do it sex when the place you call home doesn't feel safe anymore. You have to make a change, and that's exactly why some Metro Atlanta families are doing. A Decatur woman moved her family more than 5,000 miles away to Africa to protect them. CBS 46 anchor Tracy Hutchins has her story. Well, Rick and Shawnee, it is not just her, but others are doing it too, and for financial reasons as well. They are part of a growing trend to find a better life than what they have here in Georgia. From gangs to the police to uh, just having young black men and raising young black men in the society in the southern United States was just not safe. Like any mother, Devisha Johnson worried that she could not protect her children. Just sending him to the corner store was stressful. The longer she stayed in Georgia, the harder it was, she says, to keep them safe. I said living in Decatur, Georgia, I realized that it was just going to be unsafe for my boys. Tamir Rice and then George Floyd really kind of caught me off guard. Devisha, her two boys and daughter now live in Ghana in West Africa, just one of many Georgia families making the great migration away from the United States. Systematic oppression and racial injustice is at the top of the list. Black Americans, we deal with the prison industrial complex. I see um, hundreds of thousands and millions of Black Americans moving, whether for short-term stays or long-term stays, to Africa for at least another 50 years. Rashad McQuarrie is helping African Americans across the U.S. resettle in Africa through his travel company. He moved to Ghana from New York in early 2020. Lenton Delwyn Ray is already making plans to move to Ghana in the next two to three years. There are some skill sets that we will bring to Africa that will help them enrich uh, their business climate. Could this be lucrative for you and Absolutely. your business partners? Absolutely. Here's why. The American dollar goes much farther in Ghana. The cost of living is 64% less compared to the U.S., according to livingcost.org. It is part of the reason why Ray already has business partners there for his company. Rainbow Aquaponics. Ray says he'll be able to teach West Africans how to grow their own business. And using those gifts that you've gained here and enriching the culture there. So I think that's very, very important. It's been a long coming dream. And a dream realized for a mother now able to protect her children. For my first trip coming to Ghana, I realized that this might be a place where I can raise my children and not have to wake up as a single black mother thinking about if my babies are going to come home or not. Now, candidly, Devisha tells me she has no plans of moving back to Georgia. She says she went from living, in her words, in the hood to a five bedroom house in Ghana in the hills with an incredible view. So you can see why. Sean? Tracy, thank you. A